This time on Road and Race, work on the 5 Series continues as I pack the factory stereo to release more bass and more volume, replace the 10 year old engine belts, and get some armrest storage back by removing this relic of a phone holder. In the last episode, I went through all my receipts and detailed how much I've spent repairing this 10 year old E61 BMW 5 Series. In this video, I'm going to try and fix the sound problems with the AUX input, free up some space by removing this stupid phone holder, and then replace the aging engine belts. First up, let's talk about the stereo. For a factory system, it's pretty good when listening to the radio or CDs. But when you want to listen to music off your phone using the AUX input, there's a major problem. It's a lot quieter and there's no bass. Why is this? Well, BMW think they know best and they deliberately cripple this auxiliary input to stop you driving too much signal and potentially destroying your speakers. Well, Thank you very much, Mr. BMW, but I think I'm perfectly capable of looking after my speakers myself, and I actually prefer to be able to hear the music. Luckily, there is a fix. If you take the AUX input apart, you can see two resistors soldered onto the board. These are responsible for reducing the volume and the bass. All we have to do is remove them, and you get back the full potential of your car's stereo system. But before we kick off the montage and show you how I did all this, I need to talk to you about this video's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. It's a free game for iOS, Android and Windows. It's a really fun, turn-based role-playing game. You take charge of a team of characters and fight battles in a variety of missions. Challenge yourself to the edge in the ongoing tournaments. Compete against the entire Raid community whilst fighting the Spider's Den, Ice Golem's Peak the almighty Fire Knight or the Notorious Dragon in order to win awesome rewards and rare artifacts. I don't get much time to play games, but this is a really fun, really polished game to just pick up and play whenever you get a chance. Here are all the different factions you can play as. My favourite are the Dark Elves, as I have a hugely powerful level 60 sniper. This is an uncommon character and their main skills are a double shot and a rain of arrows. If you are a new player and download the game using the special link below, not only are you helping the channel, but you're getting a massive amount of free in-game stuff too. 100,000 silver, plus a really powerful free character to play in your team, the Hex Weaver. All this treasure will be waiting for you here in your inbox. So back to sorting this sound problem. Here's a closer look at the circuit board. Two resistors we need to remove are here and here. It's really easy to do, just put a soldering iron on the chip, melt the solder, then remove it. Here you can see both resistors removed. I've left one that I've removed on the right of the screen. So we're all back together again, let's give it a quick try. Oh, that's so much better now. So much louder and the bass is back. It's like having a whole new sound system. So on to the next annoyance, the phone holder that takes up almost all the space in the armrest. I guess 10 years ago, if you had a Nokia phone, this was quite a handy feature to have, but today it's just taking up space. Here's how I got rid of it. First up, we need to disconnect the two wires that attach to the holder. Now, the official way to remove the holder is to dismantle the whole center console. Well, even I ain't got time for that. I'm just gonna pry it loose.
And there we are. Much better. Could do with a bit of a clean though. Now onto the last item, changing the engine belts. The main belt does three things. It drives the power steering, the water pump and the alternator. And the other belt drives the air conditioning. These are pretty important, especially the main belt, because if that one fails, then your car will overheat and you'll break down. These belts should be changed every four years. And because there's no record of when they were last changed, I'm going to swap them out now. Here is the air conditioner belt and here's the main belt for everything else. The aircon belt is a stretch belt, meaning there's no tensioner for it and you need to literally stretch it onto the pulley. To remove it, just cut it off. With that off, we can loosen the tensioner and slip the other belt off. Looking at the main belt, there's a small amount of wear, but no obvious cracks. Nothing as bad as the belt I took off my 350Z, for example. But what is worrying is that printed on the back of the belt is when it was made. 2008. That's the year this car was made. So that means the belts have never been changed on this car. That's 12 years. Here are the two new belts. Fitting the main belt is very easy. Just release the tensioner and follow the diagram. To stretch the aircon belt on, we need to use this special tool. Fit it under the belt, then manually turn the engine over to wind it on. Well, that's all for this time. If you'd like to see other videos about me repairing this 5 Series, click the box up here. And if you'd like to see me repairing and modifying my 350Z, it's that box down there. If you'd like to see additional content, then my links for social media are in the description box. And if you'd like to support the show and see videos early, then check out my Patreon link. And as always, thanks for watching.